my friends and neighbors just chuck out Sheraton Park Farms will make the farm. Well, we did it. We got the uh, steers combined with this new herd of cattle that we bought. Um, walked them down the road, down the hill. Man, it went went great. So um, they're in the same field, but they're not in the same paddock. They're separated right now by a single strand of electric, which we know now that everybody respects, except for those small calves who want to go under. Um, so they're in the same field, different paddocks, so they can sniff each other and kind of be in each other's presence uh, and get used to each other. New cows have been here for six days today. Um, so it seems like the new cows are much more interested in the steers than the steers are the new cows. See, the steers, they're over here by themselves with it right there. They're over here by themselves eating a little grass. All the new cows are up there standing along the wire, and along the wire, looking at the looking at the steer. So let's go up. We'll show you how JW got the water set up. We'll show you how we got the paddocks to find a single strand of electric. Looking at the looking at the steer. So let's go up. We'll show you how JW's got the water set up. We'll show you how we got the paddocks divided with the single strand of electric, and we'll just watch them for a little bit. See what they do. How y'all doing there, cows? We got this little guy here. He is not very respectful of the wire. He just walks right under. He can't even see it. And then that other little brown heifer. I don't know where she's at. Get back here. Behind the bull. Yeah, old mama. That little brown heifer calf right there on mama. She also wanders underneath the wire and uh, gets over here on the other side. And then JW's got our drinker set up over here. This drinker is kind of halfway one side of the wire, halfway the other side of the wire. And this one up here is a little more over here on the, on the new cow side. So everybody's got plenty of access to water. So after our last cow video, there's a couple things based on some comments and questions and, and, and a few other things that I want to address real quick. Um, first off, had a lot of folks questioning um, the idea of rolling out hay as opposed to a hay ring or just putting out what they would eat in a day. Um, and also the question of how long will how long will that hay last? Let's start with that one first. Based on the calculations, these animals should be eating about 3% of their body weight per day in hay. Um, size rolls of our hay, what we think they weigh, what we think these animals out here weigh, a roll of hay should last us two days. So we should be putting out a roll of hay every other day. <clears throat> now, as to the question of rolling out hay and aren't you wasting hay, it'd be better in a ring, all that kind of thing. We don't put hay in a ring primarily because when you put hay in a ring, you get all of this pressure around the outside of that ring and you get mud. It, just, it burns the ground up. It just, you, get, you get the cows, all that weight just pugs it up. The, even in the calves, uh, especially some of the smaller calves we got, they can't reach the hay. So that's, why, that's, a, that's one of the reasons why we use a hay ring. Do we waste a lot of hay? You can kind of see the, some of what's left right here. This is a roll that JW unrolled day before yesterday. That, yeah, there's a little bit left on the ground, but for the most part, it, it's difficult. I mean, you can kind of see the trail right there, maybe, right in there. But th there's not much of that hay left, um, and that's what we want. We're, we want those animals to consume it, and it's okay if there's a little bit of hay left on the ground. This is going to comp. This is going to mix with the manure. It's going to compost down. It gives the microbes and all the good critters in the soil something to eat. It's going to help us with spring growth. We're fine with that. So that all works out great. Um, so this is this is what this is what we want to see. A um, couple other things, uh, and I I really appreciate everybody's comments. We had some experienced cow folks that were leaving comments and making suggestions. Uh, even had a former a former um, cattle veterinarian. Uh, he and I had a little bit of back and forth, um, gave me some great advice. So I really appreciate that. That's, that's what we're looking for on these videos, especially on the cow stuff. You know, we've got a little over five years of experience now in pigs and chickens, um, but we're really just now, we're not even to a full year um, on cow experience yet. So 
we really appreciate folks watching, leaving comments, and making suggestions. So please keep that. Please keep that up. Continue to do that. So let's go over. I, th I think I think we're going to be good. Let's do one last check and uh, make sure everybody's set. I think that'll probably do it. All right, there they are. Um, got that line between them. Uh, everybody seems to be doing pretty good so far. With the steers and with the cows all together, uh, 25 head of cattle on this farm. And when we started this thing last year, we bought the 20 steers. I thought, man, we'll, we'll never have any more than 20 head of cattle. So here we are. And a lot of these girls, some of these girls out here are pregnant. So I don't know how many we're going to end up having by the time this deal's over with. But uh, you know, like I said earlier, uh, we we're into this thing less than a year now. Um, we are uh, we're short on experience, but uh, but we're pretty heavy on ambition. So we'll just keep working this thing. Um, like I said, I really appreciate all the comments and um, and constructive ideas and those kinds of things that folks left. Please continue to do that. That really means a whole lot to me. Um, because they're you know I can learn I can learn from anybody if you've got something constructive to say. Um, I want to hear it. So anyway, I'm looking pretty good. Like I always say, please keep us in your prayers. May God bless you and your families. And we'll see you on the next video. Thanks.